this episode of Wrecked. This machine's sinking as I'm talking. Bill and the boys battle a backhoe that puts the rotator at risk. For right now, my anchoring force is in excess of 100,000 pounds. We're still dragging us both backwards. Hey, Bill, the sink's going over. The O'Hare crew go head to head with the best in the business at the Illinois Tow Show. I love all the trucks, just some more than others, and I'm awful partial to the green and white ones. And while the rest of the team enjoy the show, Trike tangles with the truck mired in mud. If I get called out, yeah, I'll be upset. Jameson races a rival company to save a mucked up truck. This thing is completely wedged under the bridge. Chicago has more than 20,000 miles of highway full of breakdowns, spills, and wrecks. It's a dangerous mess, and somebody's got to clean it up. Bill runs O'Hare Towing with his wife Marcy, his brother Joey, a fleet of high-tech trucks, and a team of dedicated drivers who risk their lives every day, ready to respond at a moment's notice to the next big wreck. The state of Illinois has over 2,000 towing companies. If you've got a stranded semi, crushed up car, or a mangled motorhome on your hands, these are the guys you want in your corner. They brave risky nights, brutal blizzards, and treacherous traffic to keep the streets safe. For one weekend a year, they get together to determine who's the best of the best. We are at the Illinois Tow Show over in Lyle, Illinois, and we're kind of bringing all our big trucks out here and competing directly against one of my own. Tony in 902 is competing against Joe in 903. The greatest show on 12 wheels. This whole section of the parking lot that we're in right now is where we, all the uh, beauty contest is parked. Um, there's some independent judges that come around and look at them and it's just a way to get judged by the by your peers. And it's a tremendous amount of bragging rights for, the, for my guys individually at the shop of who made it and who didn't. White 607 is here. Joey's mistress, you know, the, what'd you say, the greatest the show? The greatest show on 12 wheels is that's, at the show. That's here, 903. Mike Trykowski's 310. And then Tony Monroe's rotator, the Mac, 902 is here. The whole crew worked very hard on getting their trucks all spit shined and ready to go. Meanwhile, the call comes into O'Hare dispatch. Bill gets called out to a nearby construction site. I got a 75,000 pound backhoe stuck in a pond. I'm going over there to look at it right now. The bank of a retention pond collapsed, causing a backhoe to tip over and sink into the mud. And now, O'Hare's clean trucks are about to get dirty. Yeah, I need 902 and 903 and 310. So bring those three trucks over to me. Job's on and I'm racing sunlight now. This machine's sinking as I'm talking. It's a massive piece of machinery, and Bill knows that the clock's ticking. While he waits for his team to arrive, Bill devises a plan. First, he'll use Tony's Rotator 902 on the ridge above the pond to pull the backhoe upright. Next, he'll position Trike and his wrecker on the sturdy ground beside the pond to pull the backhoe out of the mud and onto bog mats. From this position, the backhoe can be driven out of danger. Prime example, you never know when anything's going to ever happen. We just pulled into the tow show, just about to set up for the, the show. We get the phone call, get out here quick. You guys need to go take a look at the machine and see what the issue is, because it, it's, it's pretty up. As Joey and Mike arrive on the scene, Tony sizes up the situation. This is better than tow show. I mean, I'll stay out here all night. It's going to be a good challenge. That thing's buried. I don't think. Our trucks could be any cleaner for this type of a job to happen. But you know what? Getting dirty, I think we just like to do it. The machine is sinking further with each passing minute. The muddy pond is too soft for a ladder, so Tony climbs up the arm of the backhoe to secure it with safety straps. Pull it as we're leaning it back over. As Joey backs 902 into position, he hits a snag. Come on, Doyle, let me go up there and get medieval on this bitch. Oh, yeah. All right. This 
thing is not working as awesome as I wanted. Joey and Mike are in position and ready to go, but the sun is setting quickly. Oh, he's the only one there. Yeah, These exactly. other guys can't get this. I leave Tony with <laughs> I gave you one job, Tony, and I'm over here helping you with it. Sooner or later, we got to get going here. No, 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 stop. Listen stop, to me. Stop. You're twisting, twisting it, and you're on top of the other one. Come on, climb down. Although it's a dangerous spot, Bill takes matters into his own hands. Take this one up. We don't start working like a team down there, guys. Help them out. Get over by your truck. With the rigging secure, it's time to pull the backhoe out of the mud. Pull that Let's go. Continues as Bill and Joey try to stop the rotator from rolling over. This makes it scary because those straps are rated for 36,000 pounds. And later, a semi gets jammed in a bridge, and O'Hare has to round up the rubble. This thing is completely wedged under the bridge. Minutes away from being able to relax and enjoy the Illinois Tow Show, Bill and Joey Graziana, Mike Trykowski, and Tony Monroe are dispatched to a 75,000 pound backhoe stuck in the mud. But the ground that 902 is parked on is too soft, and the truck is on the verge of rolling over, and daylight is running out. Truck, let off of it. You get a bike. Let off of it. Right. With the truck tipping, the team races to get wood under the outriggers for more support. Part of the problem is, is that it's so soft up there, we can't get that truck to really give us the pull we need. More. Look, it's just like peat moss up there. Probably what the same is out here. So we get this repositioned, I think we'll be all right. Okay. With the outrigger secure, Bill opts for extra insurance. The dead man is a towing technique designed to reduce the weight of a load on a tow truck. A cable is looped through an outside object, such as a tree, boulder, or in this case, a bulldozer, dividing the weight in half. Thanks to the dead man, 310 is now holding 37,500 pounds instead of the full 75,000 pound load. Now it's time for the O'Hare team to put the dead man into action. Snug it up again. Hold it a little bit. For right now, my anchoring force is in excess of 100,000 pounds, and we're still dragging us both backwards. I'm lucky it didn't go back down and roll over. With the shock, you know, once it unloads, then it. Did we break them both? Yeah. The safety straps snap, making this tough situation even tougher. This makes it scary because those straps are rated for 36,000 pounds. With little time to spare, Bill and his team must put on a new set of straps to keep the machine from rolling over. Get that high line up there. We get the orange one, and then this down line is going up there. A little more. Good, good, With stronger good straps on the arm of the backhoe, the team can finish pulling it out of the mud.
thanks to the dead man technique and the stronger recovery straps, the O'Hare team is able to get the backhoe out of the mud. Now it's time to party, so let's hurry up and get this thing down, and then we go party. We're going to hang them on the tow truck at the show, and we're going to tell everybody how good we are. This was one heck of a pull. That was fun. That was a good challenge. You don't understand how big of a deal this is to me. I love doing this. It's definitely a passion. I'll do these any day, any time, any place. Coming up, the O'Hare crew hits the tow show. We're back in the game. Woohoo! Freaking brilliant. Yeah, what? Are you kidding me? And later, Jameson gets pulled away from the show, and he's got company. Once again, we got some competition out here. It's day two of the Illinois Tow Show, and O'Hare's got to play catch up. They spent the previous day battling a backhoe in a dirty ditch, and now they've only got a couple hours to get their trucks clean again. What we're doing right now is we're trying to orchestrate getting our trucks prepped. Today, we've got eight hours to do 16 hours of work preparing these trucks. Each year, there are 40 tow shows across the country. But for O'Hare, the Illinois tow show is the biggest of the bunch. I am excited about the tow show. I have been waiting since last year's tow show for this year's tow show. Our tow show, which is the tow show for this state, is pretty important. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm not on call. I'm going to enjoy myself this weekend. But it's not all fun and games. O'Hare's towing business doesn't stop for anything, even a tow show. Thank you for calling over towing. This is Katie. How can I help you? A truck carrying five pallets of vinegar rammed into a railroad overpass and got wedged underneath. This is a big job and will require one of O'Hare's heavy duty wreckers. Yeah, what? Are you kidding me? Find it up, Jay! After working non stop, the O'Hare team gets their trucks clean again. But it looks like Jameson's out of luck. He's got to take another call. Hello. Hey, I'm a <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I'm going to go do a heavy duty accident now. Uh, I mean, you and Tony are privileged and don't have to do Big booms and little booms. That's all I got to say. Would you shut up? Jay? Hey, Jay? Jay, I guess he didn't like the big thing. Hey, this thing is completely wedged under the bridge. Uh, I got roof damage. It buckled in front of the landing gear. It's leaking vinegar. Yeah, it's loaded with five pallets of vinegar. We're going to have to drag this thing out. The roof is ripped off. Uh, I can see the bridge from inside the trailer. To make matters worse, the truck is wedged beneath an active rail line. Whenever a train goes over, especially a freight train, uh, there's a lot of weight on it. It will be putting some pressure on the bridge. When we pull the tractor trailer out, we are going to have to make sure we do it when the train is not overhead. But before Jameson can get started, there's a problem. Once again, we got some competition out here. A rival company has claimed the job, so Jameson has to go home empty-handed. Not only am I pretty f pissed that we didn't get the call, this is just more downtime and a waste of time for me. Although the O'Hare crew missed the first day of the tow show, they arrive on day two after rushing to get their trucks clean. show in the business in a stage for tow companies to strut their stuff, Illinois style. Anybody can pick up a guitar and make it make noise, but only a select few make it sound good. Anybody can move the lever, but there's only a select few that really make it sing. Towers show off their trucks as over 100 record retailers showcase the latest and greatest in new equipment. Meanwhile, judges hit the show looking for the best. From flatbeds to heavy-duty wreckers to rotators, any truck's got a shot at victory. Judges will be looking at body, accessories, and engine finish. The bread and butter of the towing industry is the flatbed. Built on a half-ton chassis and pushing 300 horses, this baby packs one heck of a punch. 
Day in and day out, we make more money with the flatbed work than we ever do with some of the super heavy duty work. The flatbed is fitted with a hydraulic bed that can incline and lower all the way to the street, making it the perfect tool for recovering disabled cars, minivans, and pickups. If it fits on the bed, it's going. Welcome to the big leagues. That's right, a heavy duty wrecker. 60,000 pounds of brute strength roaring out on the road in search of disabled motorhomes, tractor trailers, and construction equipment. The heavy duty wrecker boasts a lifting capacity of 120,000 pounds and a hydraulic boom that extends up to 75 feet, meaning this monster can make a meal of an overturned rig without breaking a sweat. How do you up the ante on a heavy duty wrecker? Easy. Give it a hydraulic boom with a full 360 degrees of movement. Meet the rotator, the biggest bad boy on the block. This SOB cashes in at a half million dollars a pop and is the pride of any recovery fleet. The boom on a rotator can withstand up to four million pounds of pressure per square inch and is the ultimate weapon when it comes to putting the hurt on a stranded semi. With all these trucks on display, the competition is gonna be tough. At the Illinois Tow Show, it's go hard or go home. And O'Hare Towing has no intention of going home without a W. Coming up, Trike is forced to leave the show to tow a dump truck. Do I get upset because of the way the rotations are set up? Yeah. And later, it's trophy time at the Illinois Tow Show, and O'Hare's honor is on the line. Me and you, man! <laughs> Back at the Illinois Tow Show, Joey and Jameson arrive just in time for the beauty contest. Right now, the beauty contest is getting ready to start. Trent got called out on a call, so 310's not here. I just lost my biggest competition. If I get called out, yeah, I'll be upset. It will be a disappointment. A call comes into dispatch. We've got a gentleman was trying to unload, got a little bit too far into the soft ground, and sunk the back end of his truck. Trike hooks a medium weight chain up to the dump truck. Then he'll winch it out of the mud. All you gotta do is don't try to spin the wheels. All you gotta do is just kind of help it along. wheel to spin. That's what's making that tire climb up out of the hole instead of dig in. Wooden bed, we got it out. We're all set. All that's left is we're gonna clean the mud up and do our paperwork. Do I get upset because of the way the rotations are set up? Yeah but I can't let my guys and these guys see me out of control. Back at the tow show, the judge is making his way to the O'Hare trucks. All the trucks are beautiful. Right. I love all the trucks, just some more than others, and I'm awful partial to the green and white ones. You know, I see a lot of second place plaques out here, but I don't know. We're a little disappointed right now. Our stuff's dirty, but you know what? We just got done winching out a big excavator out of the mud. On our way here. It was exciting to get those kind of calls, but I could tell in the back of their mind there was some disappointment that we were playing in the mud before the beauty contest. I'll take that. I'll take a dirty truck winching a big excavator over having a really clean truck at a tow show. That's how we roll. With the judging complete, it's time to enjoy the tow show. Well, it's morning for you, I understand. Yeah. After busting two straps on that backhoe, Bill and Joey need to replenish their stock. Two reds, two orange. Oh, these are the replacement straps from yesterday because Joey broke the other ones. Well, now we're good. Yeah. We're back in the game. Woohoo! We got 80,000 pounds. This one was only 46. Freaking bring it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PTROI Awards Banquet. 
Now, it's time to find out if O'Hare can pull off a victory. And second place goes to Dwight Lee, O'Hare Towing. Don't worry about it. I got you next year. Me and you, man. Another company took first place, but that doesn't mean that O'Hare isn't proud. I worked very hard on the trucks to make sure that when they left this yard that it was spick and span, so at least we walked out with one. One is better than nothing. We did the best we could with that this year, but we had a lot going on. Actually, when the vehicles were going to the show, we got a little busy. Quite frankly, we kind of got spanked at the beauty contest, and uh, you know, that happens. The trucks look good, but they didn't look excellent. We'll make sure we're back on top next year. Before the night is over, there's one last award to be given out. There are exceptional people that you run into in your life. They do things that you can't, and uh, this next individual has all those qualities and then some. I knew his father. His father was my mentor. And I've come to love this entire family. Billy, would you come up here, please? I received an award um, at the banquet on Saturday night. It was a very moving experience for me and my family. Um, it was what's called a presidential award, and uh, Mr. Howard um, presented that to me, and it was a complete surprise, and um, it was for some things that I've, I've done through the organization for the year. It was very nice. It was very moving to be acknowledged and have it presented at the banquet. Um, it was a pretty emotional moment for me and my family, and. Uh, it was nice to be recognized. You're polishing your rims. Dude, I have more reflection on my black wall tire. You want to bet again? Don't go Let's there. Let's go right Don't now. Don't go there. Come Don't on. Go Don't go there. Don't Frank, go there. put your money where your mouth is. $15. That's all. I got $16 cash right now. Don't go there. Best of the show. <laughs> Don't go Witness. there. Witness. Don't go Best there. Best of the show. You can't even look into it. It's blinding. <laughs> Shut up. Man.